Hello. I have a proposal. Yes, it is dubbed the Missouri Compromise. And thus our tale begins. The story begins in the minds of the Southerners. They were jealous and angry because the North had the entire House of Rep Representatives on their side of the slavery decision. The South's last hope was the Senate. They wanted to keep their slaves to work their cotton fields and make money. The Capitol wants to add more states, but keep the power in the Senate equal so there's no breakout in war. I say, we need more states more than just the eastern border, but expand it into the west, cover the states from Canada to Mexico. But we need to keep it fair so the South doesn't break out in war. Let, let us make a compromise so the South has a little more power in the Senate than the North to make it mo them more agreeable. So that's what they did. The Capitol made a line across the states, running from east to west. Above the line, all the states were free besides Missouri. Below the line, all the states were slaved. The Fugitive Slave Law was a law that took away legal rights from runaway slaves. The northern and the northerners who refused to help could be jailed. I know that the South just passed a new lo law that we have to catch runaway slaves, but it makes me feel like a slave catcher. I've heard that wait, I've heard that the South is saying that we are no better than bank robbers, but fortunately, it's not. The law is not really doing anything to stop us. Hey, there's a slave. Uh, and there's a slave catcher. Let's get him. Stay away from that helpless slave. Let him live his life. I will jail both of you. Now, one more northerner who doesn't support this law, and I'm going to blow a fuse. Don't take us! We're just kids! No! Almost finished. Yes, done. I must present this book to the children. I'm considering presenting this to the public. The children already understand. Maybe the North will, too. It's midnight. I can't sleep. I made the decision. The terrors of slavery must reach the North. For the task of abolishing slavery becomes harder and harder every day. Millions of copies have been sold. The novel becomes more popular as I write this diary. There are letters being sent from the North and the South. The North is finally realizing the horrors of slavery. Exactly the point of this novel. The South, unfortunately, feels the exact opposite. They are banning the book in some places and shunning me in off on offensive letters. I have been blessed by God. Uncle Tom's Cabin has become so popular that the President, Abraham Lincoln, has asked to speak with me. Lincoln was quite rude to me yesterday. His only words to me were, So, you're the one who started the Great War. Although this does not concern me, I have turned the North against slavery with merely one vision of mine, and that's all that matters to me. Oh, Wisconsin, the first ever northern free state I've ever been to in my entire life. I assume my master has come I'm here to sell his goods, cotton and such. Look at all of the free men. I could not imagine what it would be like to be white, free, making money, owning land of my own. Well, wait. This is a free state, right? Thus, I've earned my freedom by, uh, from being here, right? I've been stricken with an idea. I will escape from my master while he is asleep, and venture to the Supreme Court to sue for my freedom. So you are a Dred Scott, a fugitive slave, correct? Yes. 
and you stand before us nine justices to sue for your freedom, correct? Yes. Please state your argument. As you wish. Carry on. I see. We have considered your argument. Please wait five minutes. Of course, Your Honor. We have heard you. The jury has concluded. This and no more. Slaves are property. Therefore, you, Scott, do not have the rights of a typical American citizen, including suing for your own freedom. You may never be a free man. But! This, clay, this case is closed. And thus, the North was enraged by the decision, arguing that it was wicked and unconstitutional. The South, however, was delighted. They hoped the issue of slavery between the North and the South would end, and in their favor.